Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our Big Ten football predictions today, and our next team was just one play away from playing in the college football playoff, so they're hoping to redeem themselves this year, and they are Michigan Wolverines. So if you do remember last year in that classic Michigan-Ohio State game, they were just a few plays away uh, from defeating Ohio State in double overtime and getting to the college football playoff. Uh, but unfortunately, they lost that game, and they ended the season on a sour note, losing to Florida State in the Orange Bowl. So this year, they are hoping to uh, improve themselves and redeem themselves. The only problem is they returned five starters total on this team. Four on offense, only one on defense. But Jim Harbaugh is a great coach. He's been doing great things since he came to Michigan in 2015. Really turned this program around, winning 10 games in each of those seasons. Uh, so I'm excited for this Michigan team. I think they will take a little bit of a step back, uh, hopefully not major. Uh, but Jim Harbaugh, he's going to get this team ready. They return Wilton Spade at quarterback. That's going to be huge, most important position in my opinion. But uh, my fear, and I'm sure the fear for a lot of Michigan fans, is the defense with that one starter back. That's going to be probably their, their question mark and problem there. It doesn't get easy when they open the season against Florida, a team that I think is uh, very balanced. They're going to have a very good defense. I think the offense will improve since the offense has been pretty bad the past couple of years. Have faith in McIlwain. If you remember, this is a rematch of that Citrus Bowl a few years ago where Michigan just annihilated Florida. Don't see that happening this year. I actually think Florida will win this game. Uh, Florida, I think, like I said, they're going to be improved. They're going to be ready to make it to another SEC championship. Uh, in Michigan, with a the, the lot of uh, inexperience there, I really don't think they're going to be able to defeat uh, Florida here. I'm going to give them the loss. That game's also going to be played in Arlington, Texas, at Jerry World. So I really just don't see them beating Florida. I think there's going to be... Um, too good of a team and I'll put, a lot of people disagree with that and I think Michigan will beat Florida but with those five stars and the inexperience coming back and it being a pretty long road game down in Texas I just don't see them be pulling off the upset if you ask me and then luckily they get three straight pretty easy games two non-conference games shouldn't have any problem with those they're both at home they should take care of Cincinnati and Air Force and then at Purdue their first Big Ten game team that will have a new head coach team that's always been at the bottom of the Big Ten and with it being on the road I don't see that being a huge problem for Michigan I think they should be able to take care of the Boilermakers. So I'm going to give them three straight wins after that loss against Florida. I'm not really worried about eating any of those. So three and one going into the bye week. Not bad. Get the rivalry game against Michigan State. We all remember what happened a couple years ago in that Michigan State game. Um, you know, the, the muff punt, the block punt by Michigan State. As time expired, that was pretty crazy. This year, Michigan State uh, will improve from that three and nine season, but Michigan gets them at home. Uh, Michigan State gave them a little bit of a fight last year when they were very, uh, were a pretty poor team, but with Michigan to my home and with Michigan, I think, being the better team, I'm going to give them the win over the Spartans. And then at Indiana, this could be a trap game for Michigan. Indiana has been playing well lately, uh, not just against Michigan, but just overall. Uh, Richard, Richard Legault is back at quarterback. I think he has the potential to be one of the best uh, passers statistically in the Big Ten this season. So with it being on the road at Indiana, Michigan does need to be careful in this game because uh, this could potentially be a loss for the Wolverines. But for right now, I'm not calling for that. I'm going to predict a win for them against Indiana. But if they're going to lose uh, like, like an upset game or one of those toss-up games, this would be it because I think Indiana is a much improved team and they're going to still uh, compete and give uh, a lot of teams some scares in this Big Ten East and in their division as well. Win over Indiana. And then at Penn State, they defeated Penn State last year. But obviously, Michigan was a much better team last year. Uh, it was at home, and that was early in the season before we knew what Penn State was capable of. This year, it's at Penn State. They have a lot of high expectation. I think they're more balanced, uh, more experienced. And I think with Michigan having the inexperience, especially on defense, that's, that, I'm really concerned about that. And Penn State, we know, has a very explosive offense led by Saquon Barkley and Tracy McSorley. So, uh, and James Franklin will bring the intensity. But this game being at home uh, for Penn State, I don't see Michigan going on the road and getting the win over the Nittany Lions in this one. And then... Rutgers in Minnesota. Rutgers shouldn't be any issue. Remember last year, Michigan just annihilated Rutgers. Uh, it was just so embarrassing for the Scarlet Knights last year. This year, they get them at home. Shouldn't be any problem for Rutgers uh, or Michigan. Shouldn't give. Uh, shouldn't be any challenge there. And then Minnesota, team now led by P.J. Fleck from Western Michigan. Uh, this could be an exciting game. I mean, Michigan's looking pretty good right now. Only two losses and only one conference loss, but... Uh, with it being at home and with a new head coach and P.J. Fleck at Minnesota, I could see them making a bowl game, but I don't see them pulling uh, any major upsets yet. It's just his first year at the school, and he's going to get there. I think he'll turn Minnesota into a very dangerous team in the next few years, much like he did at Western Michigan. Uh, but for now, I'm going to predict a win for Michigan. 
But uh, watch out, PJ Flag in Minnesota will uh, will be on the rise in the next few years. And then at Maryland, another team that's usually towards the bottom of the Big Ten standings, uh, never too competitive. With it being on the road, that could pose a little bit of a concern. I'm not too worried about it, though. Um, Maryland will more than likely make a bowl game this season, like much like they did last year. They usually hover around that six to seven win mark. Um, but with it being a Maryland team that doesn't have too much experience as well, this will be a fun one to watch. I think Michigan's going to take easy care of uh, Maryland in this one, though. Shouldn't be any issue. And this is where it gets tough. Unfortunately, they close out uh, the season with back-to-back -back games over the best teams in the Big Ten. At Wisconsin, the best team from the West, and Ohio State, the best team in the East. Um, Wisconsin, if you remember that game from last year, that was a thriller. It was more of a defensive battle between Michigan and Wisconsin. That was a very fun one to watch. Uh, Michigan ended up getting the win, as we all know. But, um, yeah, I, this Wisconsin team is going to be dangerous. You know, This is a Wisconsin team that made it to the Big Ten Championship uh, last year, lost to Penn State. Had they won that, they would have been – uh, had a very good chance of getting into that uh, college football playoff. With it being on the road and with Wisconsin, I think, doing a very good job this season and potentially playing for another Big Ten championship this late in the season, I don't think that West Michigan's going to be able to go on the road in that environment and upset the Badgers. I'm going to project a loss for Michigan there. I think Wisconsin team's going to be dangerous, and they do have the potential to make the college football playoff this season. They have a lot of high expectations. And I don't, I'm just not too high on Michigan. Uh, going on the road in this game. Maybe last year with the team they had last year, maybe. But right now, with the inexperience, I just don't think so. And then they get Ohio State to close up the season, as always. Probably going to be another thriller. Jim Harbaugh is going to do a great job getting this team ready for this. They're not in a bad position right now. They're just 8-3 and three, um, this late in the season, so they have the potential for another 9-win season. If they win their bowl game, could get to 10 wins. But Ohio State, even though it's at home, they're a dangerous team. Uh, could be another college football playoff contender for sure. And uh, I think Michigan will lose at home to the Buckeyes. I just feel that Ohio State is too good of a team led by JT Barrett and Urban Meyer. Uh, they're, they're very experienced, probably one of the most experienced teams in the Big Ten. And I really don't see Michigan uh, upsetting the Buckeyes, especially this late in the season. But you never know. In this rivalry game, anything can happen. They've had tons of classics. We all remember the game last year. Uh, so it'll be fun to watch for sure. And if Michigan were to pull off the upset over Ohio State, that would really shake up the standings and the college football playoff for sure. But I'm not, I'm not calling for that right now. So I do have Michigan taking a step back, finishing the season 8-4 and four right now. And really, out of the losses that they could potentially win, if you ask me, uh, the most likely one would be Florida. That would be the only game that I really think that could be a toss-up game, if you want to call it that. But I really do have faith in this Florida team with the season opener. Uh, I don't know how well Michigan will be prepared, especially with all that inexperience. And I think Florida will end up getting the win. Uh, otherwise, in conference play, I don't see them upsetting uh, Penn State or Wisconsin on the road. And then Ohio State at home, I think the Buckeyes are going to be too good and too fired up for this one. So 8-4 and four for Michigan, not a bad season. They do have the potential to get to nine wins uh, if they win their bowl game. A little bit of a step down for Michigan and Jim Harbaugh. No, it might not be the, what the season that Michigan fans are hoping for, but it's still not a bad one for sure. They got some key wins in there, and it should be another fun season for the Wolverines. So... Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and please share our videos as well. We love it when you guys do that, and we'll see you next time on The Gridiron Expert.